and welcome Kira family to Dr. Luke on Call, the channel where we share accurate medical information to all communities. I'm Dr. Scott Berger, and I believe that it's because of lack of knowledge that our people perish. Today we have a hot topic to discuss. As you can see, dexamethasone. Yesterday there was a discussion on BBC about this drug that could really help in COVID and can help save lives. I think it's very, very important that we look at the facts. Before we get to that, I want to thank everybody that commented on the previous videos. To Kathy, as always, to Sue, um, everybody around the world, and for all the new viewers, welcome. I really hope you're going to enjoy this and that you will learn something from this video. Okay, dexamethasone. Important to know, this is a very, very old drug. It's also a very cheap drug, so yes, if we can use it, it's very cost effective. But we've got to look at what it is. Do we know about this? And indeed, many of the patients in COVID have already been treated with this medication. The challenge that we as doctors had from the beginning is that how do we treat patients with corticosteroids? Because we must remember that dexamethasone is a corticosteroid. The corticosteroids reduces inflammation. Okay, how does it reduce inflammation? It reduces inflammation because it suppresses your immune response. Okay, so now this is a bit of a catch-22 because you want a strong immune response. So in the beginning of any viral disease or any infection, you want your immune system, your killer cells. Remember, we spoke about your amazing immune system, CD4 cells, the macrophages, the police cars that pick up all the viruses and all the bugs. You want them to be very active and you want them to stop the infection. The problem is if it really overreacts you can get a situation where the immune system of the body becomes a problem to the body and you get a condition called a cytokine storm where the immune response is really overactive and the patient struggles. It's the same thing in allergies. You've got high allergy levels for maybe dust or cats or dogs or pollen and what do they give you? They give you cortisone, inhaled cortisone for asthma, spray cortisone for your nose for allergies or sometimes even cortisone tablets but it needs to be used in short doses and not at a very high dose because it actually suppresses your immune system. So what are the side effects of cortisone and specifically what are the side effects of dex dexamethasone? It will suppress your immune system as discussed. It will give you increased fluid retention, increased appetite, increased hair growth and acne, increased sweating, increased sugar levels which can cause diabetes in the long run, mood changes, trouble sleeping, and there are actually quite a few more, but we're not gonna go into all of them now. So that doesn't look so good, and that is exactly the point that I want to make with dexamethasone. We don't want to give it to everybody because it can cure, cure COVID. It cannot cure COVID. It's a cortisone that suppresses your immune response. Okay, but why this big fuzz about dexamethasone? Why do they put it on BBC, why does the Prime Minister of the UK speak about it and almost hail it as this wonder drug? Because they've done a study and the results of the study came out. Very, very interesting results of the study. I'm going to discuss it with you just now. And that study showed that in certain patients, there's actually a reduced mortality rate. And that was why they were talking about the drug. So. Where do we use dexamethasone in COVID-19? It is for the very ill patient. So the patient that's on oxygen therapy or the patient that's on a ventilator. It needs to help prevent the cytokine storm or the overactive immune response that will cause your body to react in an abnormal way and actually cause damage to yourself. It will treat the inflammation, especially in those hospitalized patients. Okay, so what did the study show? They gave it to quite a high number of patients, over a thousand patients. In the patients that weren't on oxygen, they actually had a 2% increased mortality rate. So there were 2% more mortalities in the patients with COVID-19 that weren't on oxygen in the study group in the hospital. In the patients that were on oxygen, they had a 5% 
less mortality rate. So that's important, that's significant. In the patients that were on a ventilator, so the ICU patients, this was quite significant. 14% less mortalities. Okay, so this is what the big issue is about. Those patients that have had the disease for longer than seven days, they've been admitted now, they've had all their blood tests done, they are on oxygen, that wasn't enough, eventually have to go on the ventilator, they get their blood, um, they get their blood thinning medication because we know about the high blood clot risk, they get their antiviral medication, they get a whole lot of things and they still don't respond. They were given the cortisone and they actually saw a significant reduction in mortality rate. So that's where the real issue is. Okay, so what does it mean to you and to me? It's not for the 85% of people with mild infection that can stay at home. Those people need their immune systems to function properly. So they don't want to suppress the immune system because that is what dexamethasone does. That's what all cortisones do. They suppress your immune system. So they are not for those people. So the majority of the population will not have to or should not use dexamethasone because they can develop all these side effects, which is definitely what we don't want. So I hope that's made it clear that it's not a wonder drug. It's definitely a drug that can help save lives in those very critical patients. So I want you to understand where this fits in. Ultimately, we still rely on our immune systems to beat the virus. So you need to rest, you need to get a little bit of sun, take your zinc, make sure you have fruit and veg for your vitamin C, make sure you look after yourself, wear a mask in public to not infect others, make sure you wash your hands. Those basic guidelines are still going to be the mainstay and still going to be the most important thing. If you have any questions on dexamethasone or treatment, please leave them in the comments. And now for the question of the day. What is the purpose of dexamethasone? What does it try to achieve in the patient's body? If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It makes a big difference that other people also see and learn. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And remember, stay safe and stay healthy.